Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to do the one shot zero process on Pulsar's Thermion or Thermion 2. Uh, they've made a few changes to the menu in here so I just wanted to jump in and show you real quick how to do this again. I've got a couple other videos out there on how to do this but uh, this will show you the new features. So we're going to jump inside the device. I'm going to go ahead and hit record here and get that started up. So. We'll get down here and you can see that I've got a target set up down there. Um, that's where we're going to be shooting. So basically what I've got down there is I've got some pieces of foil and I've adjusted my contrast and brightness over here uh, to get that to where I can see it the best possible. Again, to do that, short presses are going to move you through the, the quick menu items. Short press to open that menu, and then, you know, short presses to go between the different functions. So there's brightness, you know, I can simply roll that up or down to make changes in there. Uh, same way here on the contrast. You know, so if I wanted to adjust that just a little bit, I kind of like it right there. Um, and then you see how that timed out on its own. So. Once I'm ready to do the one shot zero, I'm going to do a long press over here on the encoder button to go into the main menu and then uh, roll the encoder wheel to go to the subsection that I want. Now, just so we're on the same page here, if I was setting up a new application, I would first go into this zeroing profile and select a new profile, which I have already done here. Um, I'm gonna go in B because I've got some settings up here in A already. So I'm going into B, which effectively starts me over with the X, Y coordinates of zero, zero, you know, and lets me start with a new um, setting. I've already named this one 50 yards, um, but I could, you know, I can show you here real quick I'll, I'll come in and delete that and just start over so I can show you how to do this. So if you ever need to delete one, you just do go down here to the little trash can, go up to yes. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. You know, so now you can see where I'm starting fresh. Short press there to go in and create a new one. You roll your encoder on the different characters in order to make changes and then to switch positions, short bus button presses. So I want to come in here to this middle one and change this to 50 yards. And then once I've got it where I want it, a long press is going to save and accept that and bring me into the zeroing menu. So now that I am in the zeroing menu, you can see that I have some different functions in here. One being the windage elevation, which is where we're going to actually make the XY coordinate changes or essentially shift the reticle positioning. Uh, next below that is the magnification. Below that is the freeze frame function. And below that is your name distance. So if you messed up that distance out there, didn't want to delete it and create a new one, we could have just come in here and actually changed the, the name of the distance. But we are liking where we got it. So we're going to roll up here to the windage elevation portion of the menu. And at that, at this point, if we wanted to, this is going to be our initiation shot to find out where everything's at. We could come in here, you know, and we could go ahead and take our shot and determine uh, where we're at. So effectively, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, set up over here on the on the gun. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit my, my plus button back here on the eyepiece and zoom up just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and take a shot right there at the middle of the target. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can see exactly where I hit up there high and to the right kind of up by that other one, right up in this vicinity. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do short press to open this uh, windage slash elevation menu. And then I'm going to do another short, or excuse me, I'm going to do another short press to switch into the Y coordinate. And then effectively, you can see where if I roll that uh, forward, it moves that up. So we were in about that vicinity there uh, vertically. And then the horizontal was over just about there. And we were a little more than that. I'd say we were about there. Okay, so you can see where our X is 10 and a half and our Y is 
looks like 15.5 so basically what I've done here is I'm just rolling the encoder you know I'm trying to maintain my hold position on the, the bottom reticle to right there where I was at and you can see where I've got that red X setting about where that bullet impact was and so once I've determined that I'm in the right position I'm going to do a long press to move that and you can see now where my reticle is setting up there approximately where our bullet impact was. So we've basically co-witnessed the scope to the barrel's aiming location and now we should be able to come back over here, cock the gun and we'll go ahead and take another shot and see if we're getting a little closer. So I didn't see that in this, but I've got another camera perspective. I'm going to go ahead and take another one just to kind of confirm that we're holding the right position. We evidently must have been close on that first one because we knocked the foil off of that. So uh, let's go down here and we'll shoot on this one. I knocked one. I'm using a little, uh, you know, aluminum foil tape to mark those positions, and it looked like we knocked that last one off, but. I'm going to shoot a group down here on this one so we can get a better idea of where I'm at. Okay, I'm going to jump over here. I've got this little uh, sight mark wraith set up. It looks to me like I'm about... I'm going to say about one inch straight left is where the majority of my group is. So I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment in here for that. Um, so basically, I can make that adjustment inside this scope. So I'm shooting XG, and in XG, the move equivalencies are about a half inch at 100 yards per full unit. So if I want to move one inch to the left, I can come here into the X coordinate, and you can see if I roll this clockwise that my X is going to move to the left. And so effectively, I want to move to the left because I want to move one inch. I'm only at 50 yards, so I want to move two, the equivalent of two inches. And then my units are half inch per, per unit, so I'm going to move four clicks. So I should bring this down by four so that's going to put me down at uh, 650 right there so i'm going to do a long press to accept that and then we're going to come over here and shoot a new location and see what what we get for adjustments A little tough there because I knocked my uh, foil off, but effectively I'll take another look at my groups. Yeah, and I think we got it dialed pretty good there. It looks like I got a couple of them in the same hole and that one's off a bit, but you know, all in all for the wind the way it is today and that, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Um, so one other thing I wanted to show you here just real quick while we're at this. Um, once I'm done with that, I'm going to do a long button press in here to save and accept. So let's go ahead and get that before I go on to the next thing. So now what I'm doing is long button press up here to save them coordinates. You see where that came on the screen. If I want to get all the way back out to the main menu, um, we'll save that. But effectively what I'm going to do next, because I get this question a lot too, how good are these uh, how good are these return zero QD mounts? So this is American Defenses. Uh, we sell this as an upgrade. Uh, with some of the other devices, I include uh, the Sightmark SM34020. I've had good luck with it as well. But so you can see, we pulled that off of there. Uh, we're going to turn around. And we're going to put that back on. We're going to make sure that we're locking them lugs in the same position. 
and basically you can see about where my drops are there I'm making sure that I'm recoil the recoil lugs are forward in position I'm gonna just push those down until they clip and so now if everything worked good we're gonna come down here I'm gonna go ahead and cock the gun I'm gonna zoom us up and we'll come over here and we'll shoot this and we'll just see how close this is I'm going to go to another one because I knocked that foil off. So, basically, I think you get the idea. Um, Anyways, if you're looking for one of these, you'd like to give me a call. You can call me toll-free, 877-806-2977. You can check us out on the web, www.foxoptic.com. We sell these devices. If you're looking for one, be sure and give us a call. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.